Using an offline tool to convert text into speech or clone voices directly on your computer can be beneficial. You won't have to depend on the internet, lowering the risk of data exposure during text-to-speech synthesis. In this video, I'll show you how to convert text into speech and clone voices on your computer without requiring an internet connection. I'll be using a software called EaseText. The generous team at EaseText provided me with a complimentary license for their premium plan to thoroughly test its capabilities. Moreover, they gave me an additional 100 free licenses to share with you. These licenses are valid on Windows until November 2024, granting one year of free access for unlimited text conversion and voice cloning. If you're interested in trying out this tool, feel free to send me a message at this email address. The first 100 people to reach out will receive these licenses. Once you have the username and license key from me, head to their website and download the software to your computer. After the download is complete, install it on your computer. Once the installation is done, launch the software. As you can see, the interface is simple and easy to navigate. To activate the license, click on Account and then Register. Enter the username and the license key I provided, then click on Activate. Now you are all set. To convert text into speech, click this button. Give a name to the project and click this option to pick a voice. You can choose from an available voice or download a new voice. By default, there won't be any available voice. Since I have already downloaded a voice, it's showing the available voice. Let me show you how you can download a voice. As you can see, this software supports multiple languages, including English, Spanish, Dutch, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Chinese, and more. Additionally, it offers an extensive selection of over 1,300 unique voices. You can play a voice from here. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. And if you like it, you can download it by clicking this button. For now, let's continue with the voice that I have already downloaded. You can also change the speed of the voice. Now, paste your script in this box. I will turn off my Wi-Fi just to show you that you don't need any internet when you have downloaded a voice. Then I will click this play button to convert the text. AI voice can assist businesses in when the conversion is complete, you can export it to your computer in multiple file formats. AI Voice can assist businesses in a variety of ways, including marketing. If you wish to convert a text, HTML, or PDF file into audio, select the second option. Choose a file from your computer. Choose the voice. And click this play button to initiate the conversion. It won't take long. AI is absolutely everywhere. When done, export it to your computer just like before. AI is absolutely everywhere right now, and if you think you can only use AI to do things more... In this final step, I will show you how to use the voice cloning feature. When you click on the voice cloning option, the system will ask you to pick a folder with at least 4 gigabyte of available space for downloading the necessary files for voice cloning. Let's create a folder and choose it. The download will start right away, and it will take some time. When the download is done, you'll need to record your voice. Give the recording file a name, select the language, and hit OK. Now, start recording your voice by reading the on-screen text. It's important to carefully follow these instructions during the recording for the best output. After you are done recording yourself, click this button and the Train Now button. Give a name to the cloned voice and select the language model. Then agree to their terms of service and click on Start Training. Please note that selecting a model initiates another download. Since I've already downloaded it to my computer, it's not needed anymore. As I mentioned earlier, 
You only need to download these files once, then the software works entirely offline. By default, the system uses your CPU for training the voice, but for better and faster results, you can switch to GPU. You can also pause the training midway and test the voice performance. If you find it unsatisfactory, you can go back to further train the model for better results. To be honest, I haven't had the time to finish a voice cloning yet. That's why I can't show you the output. So feel free to try the tool yourself and share the results in the comments. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting insights into AI tools and tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insightful content.